Hi everyone! So today we're going to do another one of our back to basics videos. So this one's going to be how to actually just draw a door in your floor plan and make it into a block that you can use over and over again. <laughs> So first of all, the basic thing that, basic thing that you want to do is actually draw in a frame for your door. So I'm going to just do PL, so polyline, and let's zoom in a little. Let's just say, I'm in millimeters right now, so let's just say this is 50 by 150 by 50, and make sure my snaps are on. And there we go. So there's one part of my frame. And now the other part, I'm gonna just do C, O, enter. And we're gonna move it from here to all the way across. Now for this door, let's do, let's just do a 900 millimeter wide door. So a fairly wide door. But to make sure there's a 900 millimeter wide opening between the frames, I need to do, type in 950 to accommodate the, the dimension of the frame itself. So 950, enter. And lo and behold, we have the frame that represents the door opening. Now, the next thing we want to do is draw our door itself. Now, I keep using the polyline just because I, I think it gives me a little bit more control sometimes, but you could also use the rectangle um, tool as well. So if I do PL, enter. I'm going to just start at the center of this frame and we're going to go up 900. Enter. And you want to give it an appropriate thickness for a door. I'm going to do 40 and 900 down and then back to where we started. So all we've done is draw three rectangles, but two represent the frame and then one represents the panel. Now, then we need to draw the door swing. Now, this is something that I notice a lot with my students is that sometimes when they draw the swing arc, it isn't exactly accurate. So the way a swing should be drawn is that it should literally be an arc, so a portion of a circle that has the radius of the door width. So I find the easiest way to do this is using the center start end option within the arc. Now, if you did just a three point arc, you could try to get away with it, but it likely wouldn't be accurate. So if I go here, I say center start end, then I know this pivot point here is the center because that's kind of where the hinge would be. And this is where we're going to start. And this is where we're going to end. And that's the easiest way I know to draw a door swing. Now, we've drawn our basic door. What do we do now with it? I would really recommend playing around with it in terms of line weights and layers. So I'm in my template right now. So I would say the door frames should have their own layer so they can appear, you know, a bit thicker, but maybe not as thick as the, the walls themselves. So if I go here, I have my door frame layer. Then we have a layer for the door panel. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that to that door panel layer. And that's gonna, again, it won't be as thick as any wall layers, but at least we can start to, to see it as a solid piece. The door swing, on the other hand, is really just a diagrammatic representation of the space that the door needs to open. So I'm gonna make it really thin. So if I go down to door swing, it is thin and gray, so it's gonna be the lightest on the, um, on the, the drawing. So now what I wanna do with this is select it and let's create a block, so B, enter and give it a, a name that you'll remember so I'm gonna say 900 um, single panel something like that now before I click OK I want to specify my on-screen base point so if I pick point I'm just gonna choose this bottom corner of the frame and OK and now we have a block that we can use over and over however we want. 
So one thing that I would really recommend once you kind of get used to the process of creating a door and making it into a block is you can start to look at it in terms of a dynamic block. So I'm going to go, so I'm in my personal template and if I look here, I have quite a few doors that have been drawn in plan. But if we also look and click on one of these doors, they have a few dynamic options. So one thing is I have a grab point that makes it where I don't even have to use the rotate command to rotate this door. I also I have my base point so I can move it. I can stretch the frame for thicker walls versus thinner walls. And probably most helpfully, I can flip the door swing depending on what's needed in the design. So click we have it flipped there, click, we have it flipped there, and we can flip it back. So those are just a couple of dynamic options that you could use in a door block and check this card up in the corner and that will show you a video that I have on how to create a dynamic block which should help with that. But in terms of basics, you've done it. You just use your basic commands for drawing the lines and then use the center start end for the arc and create a block. Hope that helps. If you liked that video, check these out and click to subscribe where you'll be the first to see new videos I release every Monday. Thanks for watching.